Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. Today we're doing one of my favorite dishes, shepherd's pie. It's an incredible combination of the ground beef, veggies, uh, mashed potatoes on the top with cheese layered on it. Just incredible. You're going to love this, so let me walk you through it. So to kick things off here, what I've got is about half a kilo or a pound of lean ground beef. So I'm just going to kind of break this up and we're going to fry this until it's a, a golden brown. Okay, once it's nicely browned, I'm going to add in three cloves of garlic and a small chopped onion about a cup of frozen mixed veggies. I mean, you can do these individually, but I just find the frozen ones a whole lot easier. And give this a stir. And just saute until the onions and garlic are fragrant. Now we're gonna add in half a cup of beef broth. And this just adds some nice flavor and keeps things moist. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and a quarter cup of ketchup just to sweeten things up. And of course we're going to salt and pepper this to taste. Mmm, -mm, this smells ever so good guys. And we'll give this a mix up. Turn down the heat a bit and we're going to simmer this I'd say for about five minutes. After about five minutes, I'm gonna kill the heat and it tastes and smells absolutely incredible. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and transfer this into a casserole dish and kind of spread it out evenly. Mm -mm. I love shepherd's pie. Traditionally, this was done with lamb, but I like using beef. Okay, now I've got two fairly large potatoes that are nicely boiled up. I'm gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of butter and some milk, and you can kinda of eyeball this. A little bit of garlic powder, and I'd say this is probably about half a teaspoon. And of course, some salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna take my masher and mash this up and if you find it's not too creamy, you can add a little bit more milk, which I'm probably going to do. Now our potatoes are nice and creamy. I'm going to put them in to the casserole dish over the filling. And then just give it a smooth out. Mmm, this is going to be so delicious. Then to give it that rustic effect, I'm going to take my fork and just kind of drag it along. You don't have to do this, but I just like the effect. Then take half a cup of sharp cheddar cheese, and this is old cheese, my favorite, but you can use your favorite, and to spread it over the top evenly. So I'm going to slip this into a 375 Fahrenheit, 190 Celsius preheated oven for about 30 minutes. After about 30 minutes, there you have it guys, our shepherd's pie. Okay, let's do some slicing here and see what we've got. Mmm, this smells incredible. Oh my goodness, just look at this. Oh 
Okay, let's dig into our shepherd's pie. Mmm. My goodness, the flavors just come together so well. The meat, the potatoes, the cheese on top, the veggies, I just love it. Mmm. I need more of this. For this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of cool stuff over there. Thanks for watching and thanks for subbing. And see you next time.